Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Damn it. Well, now we get to test out the idea of whether I get to keep my engine that I spent all my money on. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics ragdolling? Holy crap. What? What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it, and it looks like they know. Well, let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. That's it? Not even one star? I just brought you a damn antimatter bomb on my back, people. Wow. Wow, that was not a good shot. Um, Ooh! I'm hit! My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected? Damn. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dolph Deer. They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. How are you not dead? Excuse me. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. What the hell? Drake, at the edge of this expansive chamber, encircled by a jabbering host of Zaref, stands a massive reptilian creature. Its snout is spattered with the bloody remnants of a recent meal, gobbets of flesh still speared on crooked fangs. Oh god. This is why we save. Sock puppet hounds. Lived? Take that, jerk. Where'd he go?
Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. So many, what is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still, oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. World of Wonders. We did it guys, we made it to WoW in the 80s. This is the last. <laughs> Thank you. Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. It's a little casual arson between friends. Instead, I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, thank you, Uthgard. That was perfect. The stories say he sought to claim is someone there. <laughs> Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we're going to continue our adventures through The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom with number three. I can't believe I've only played this twice. It feels like I played it a whole lot more. Uh, okay, where are we? We're on Nintendo Switch today. There we go. Now, I loaded up my game a time or two. This doesn't look right. Where are we? Did I load the wrong save? We were supposed to be right at the shrine. I introduced a little bit of confusion because I did load up the game a couple of times while I was off stream. And I discovered that when you load your saved game in, your vehicle disappears, which is very irritating. So you can see we've got our vehicle right there nicely built in the thumbnail for the save. There we go. Yeah, my position is offset, so I had loaded the wrong one. There we go. I was too early. This should be where we left off. But I no longer have a wagon. It's just gone. I can't get it back. I have to rebuild it. Especially because I don't have that auto-build utility yet. So... We're gonna actually make a little bit of a detour and teleport back to the temple outside of Terrytown and rebuild the vehicle. But... We're not just gonna build the car again. That would be kind of boring. 
we're gonna build something else. Oh, what's up? Good afternoon, Mr. Um, Mr. Customer. Oh, hang on a second here. GOG is putting persistent pop-ups over the corner of my screen that are driving me crazy. Word to the wise, don't take too much comfort from the afternoon sun. The forest near here is still a dangerous place. Aww. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. I mean, a fortress. I mean, forestress. I mean, fortress. Anyway, it is B-A-D bad news, and it brought some other monsters with it. And look. Aww. I worked so hard to build a well. You're a child. And now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well. Seriously? What if this monster, monster, monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep. I can barely talk. Aww. I thought maybe I'd try a sneak attack from behind, you know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave. Aww. We'll keep wishing, but for now, you really should steer clear of the forest. An uninvited guest. Um. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I loaded up the game, because those guys are right there. I didn't realize there was a quest attached to it. But I wanted to see if I could get a little bit of practice in. Okay, so I just blew up the kids well. Okay, confirmed. You can indeed murder trees with this. The range is not that great. It, it seems a little bit better when... Uh, when when you're doing it the less precise way. But I think we're going to leave that for later. For now, we're going all the way back here. Oh, we have two teleport points. I can use this. Rasataka Wax Shrine, which I love that name, by the way. And... I had briefly considered on stream last time uploading the uh, the shrines, just specifically clipping out the shrine segments and uploading those to YouTube. I have been doing that. I haven't done the first VOD yet, but I've got all the shrine visits in the second VOD uploaded. There were five of them. I even included the like two and a half minute one where you just walk in and it says, congratulations, you already did the thing by being here, and so here's your reward. Which I think technically means that I'm actually now obligated to do every single shrine in the game. But we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. Okay, so we're all the way back here again. Let's come on down here and see what we can build. I'm going to try building one of those little copter thingies that Greeny's been using. I've seen other people play with them as well. I don't know that we're necessarily going to jump right on that same exact design. I know that one works well. Which makes it automatically less fun to try. We'll probably end up using it, because frankly, I'm going to want one that actually does work well. But... I would like to play and sort of learn better the effects that things have. So what we're going to do is, um, oh, perfect. We've got two fans right here. So all I need is, uh, where are we? I need inventory, Zonai devices. I need a steering stick.
Okay, so we're gonna use one of these wooden platforms as a base, I think. No, we need ultra hand. So we're gonna... I'm gonna put that there. You know, I might actually need more fans. that are in my inventory. Anyone got more fans? Could use more fans. That's a fan. You don't mind, do you? No? Good. What? Wow. I went away for two seconds and they already reverted? Whoops. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's not keep that one. Um, no. I don't know if I necessarily need three. Okay, we're gonna stick those together just for ease of... Oh no! Damn it! It wasn't just those that reset, I lost my seat control thing. Damn it, damn it, damn it, I hate that. Man, I wish it were more persistent. All right, let's get that lined up. There we are. Actually, I don't think that's correct. Definitely not correct. That's off.
Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've already talked mm -hmm. to you. Okay, thank you, guy. I just want these out of my way. Okay, this is kind of defaulted back to the design I said we weren't going to use. So we're going to have to modify that. But it looks pretty accurate. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's keep it simple. Oh, um, probably helps if I unstick the floorboard. Okay, it's very fast, but holy crap! That drains the battery so quickly. I don't think we're going to do a lot of flying just yet. I, I, I suspect we're not going to do a whole lot of flying just yet. Maybe we'll do another car, but we're going to play around with different wheels this time. Good. This is quite a bit faster than the last one. Whoops. Nope. Back up. So this is for your race car. Blood moon? What? Already? We just started. Oh, now here's an interesting question. Am I actually going to be able to go up slopes like this? Because right now it kind of seems like maybe no.
when the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. I love that new Blood Moon sequence. It's real good. <clears throat> okay, we may have to stick to the road, which looks like it's right about here. Man, I will tell you, the version with the bigger wheels... I don't like this. I think we're going back to the big wheels. It's faster, but it's so hard to steer it. It does not get very good traction on hillsides. It, it's... This is just terrible. Sorry, buddy. Maybe we can just replace two of them. <laughs> Sorry, man. Don't worry. It'll all be over soon. Try it with the two wheels, the mismatched wheels. I want to see what the effect is. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit faster than it was before. I think it's also draining power faster than it was before. Okay, so we've got a road here. Let's follow the road. Let's follow the road the other way. Oh, so it works like the stamina bar. If you let it run down completely, you have to wait until it fully recharges before you can use it again at all. That's interesting. So it's probably not a terrible idea to stop and pick stuff up as I'm going, just to give the battery those few seconds to get recharged back up again. And that includes if you have like 17 batteries, yeah, that's okay. Oh. I don't think we found this last time we came through. Oh, 
Well, maybe we did. I just... I came from the other part of the road. Okay. So I took a more direct route this time. Hey, beetle. Well, I attempted to build one of the hover bikes that Greeny likes so much. I discovered why Greeny likes them so much. But, as you pointed out, uh, you can have multiple batteries, and I really, really, really need a lot more of them. Because flying apparently drains it really quickly. Okay, we're going to have to bash through these guys again. Or do we actually... Nope. Wrong. I guess you can't do turbo boost on these things. <laughs> Why did I not have so much difficulty last time? That's weird. I think that's my vehicle gone too. Oh well, that's okay, I guess. Where's Lookout Landing? We're gonna go here. I think it's time we got back on the main story, got a few more of our abilities, maybe dived into the underground a little bit and got some Zonite, all that fun stuff. I wonder if the car was actually slower with the mixed wheels than it was with the individuals. Uh, okay, where... Where's the main story? Impa and the Geoglyphs. Cato told you that Impa is traveling Hyrule to see the so-called geoglyphs that have appeared across the land. He said she's at New Serene Stable and that he's going there to join her. Okay, so it's the exact opposite direction of everywhere that we've been traveling. You didn't find Princess Zelda on the Sky Island where you awoke when you touched the light on the Temple of... T uh, oh, boy, the... Bah, there we go. Uh, when you touched the light in the Temple of Time, you felt her presence, however faintly, as a, and a, as a voice rang out in your mind. Link, you must find me. Where is Princess Zelda? Was there anything more she was trying to tell you? Okay, so we're going to go meet up with Impa. Oh, we get the abbreviated version this time. Interesting. Okay. I'm not going to be able to glide very far. Oh. see a shrine though we might as well go check that out Ishadag Shrine, Hyrule Field. It's 
So we're actually, I think, already getting pretty close, which is not too bad. A windy device. Oh, so this is a fan one. All right. I'm going to assume we have to use that to ascend here. Because we can't use actual ascend, and yes, we can't climb the wall. I'm going to further guess that I can't just stick it there and try to... Yep, yeah, nope. <laughs> okay. So I can't ride it up like a vehicle as it is, which means there's one other course of action we can try. Would this therefore be a wind tunnel? Hey, Hammer, how's it going? I think it might be a wind tunnel. Come on, Link. There we are. Thank you. I'm sure this won't be a problem. Okay. to make a pinwheel contraption. Uh, except I don't think I can do it high enough, so maybe not. Oh, perfect. So that should let us get the chest if I can get up there, which like we've already figured out how to do that. Next, we've got this, the doohickey. <laughs> that was fun. I assume we have to ride that up like an elevator. Uh, 
And just for the heck of it, since I've got the extra. We'll do all three. Nice. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. By the way, guys, I announced this on Discord. But I will be doing a bonus stream on Sunday this week. Not just a bonus stream. Not noon till 6. But a long stream. This kind of thing doesn't happen very often, so I want to take advantage and play more Zelda. Any golden apples? No. Oh. Actually, there is. I'm gonna have to kite this tree around. Over this way, buddy. Come on. Oh, crap. Maybe I can get him to fight the Henox. No, back this way. What are you doing? Maybe I can get him stuck on this. I want that golden apple. Where'd it go? Damn it. Did it disappear or did I just... I think that's it. Okay. There we go. Oops. Nope. Yeah, you go back to sleep. Speaking of sleeping, I'm not going to be very good at stealth yet, but we're going to give this a shot, and I'm going to see if I can steal all his crap. Toasty Hillian Shroom. his hand was going to hit me for a moment there. Now what's that blue glowy thingy in the middle of the road? 
Lurkers, your mom needs you to run some errands? No worries, Aaron Lar. You do what you gotta do. Oh, it's one of... What? What the heck is one of those guys doing here? That's just weird. These bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Hmm? Are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Aha, uh -huh. I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and white and stick to walls. Odd stuff. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden? Curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble dro frogs drop. They asked me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you too? Oh. They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awfully appealing, though. North Hyrule Plain Cave. Okay. We've got another one of those rocky, stony thingies in there that I don't really want to deal with right now. Oh, and another stable and another shrine. Clearly, we must visit. Oh, this is the stable that we're supposed to meet Impa at. So she's, uh, yeah, her marker is very close by. Perfect. Oh. Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? Mm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Rito. Dorito Village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village dangerous for resident and visitor alike. Mm -hmm. That's awful. It sounds like anyone trying to get to Dorito Village needs to prepare themselves for harsh freezing weather. Mm -hmm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is interesting. The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. The Lucky Clover Gazette has opened its offices at Rito Stable. Any eager new journalists are encouraged to apply. So that stable has become a newspaper company then just when you thought you'd seen everything. If I'm ever near Rito Village, I might just drop by and see what this is all about. There's so much to read in these newspapers. <laughs> Strange to think that I can learn about world affairs just by reading the paper. Those magnificent geniuses at the Lucky Clover Gazette. Sinakawak Shrine. An uplifting device, Sinakawak Shrine. Oh, balloons! Okay, so these are almost set up like tutorials, so it's kind of fun that we're going back and getting the earlier tutorials, because I've been adventuring over in areas that really, technically speaking, according to the loose guidelines established by the game I really shouldn't be okay I, I really shouldn't be playing around in just yet so they're giving me a torch we 
we've got a balloon that's being powered by flame, it looks like. And we can kind of see that it's visibly deflating as it gets farther away from the flame. got this set up they provided me with it looks like three different thingies and a sequence of torch sconces I think this is more complicated than it initially looks which maybe not a bad thing want to play with some orientation here. The spacing on the torch sconces looks very intentional. Pretty dead on, I would say. That looks a little bit weird. That's better. It's not going to work, is it? The flame has to be below. Okay, I'm going to assume that those light sconces, they can potentially be used if you can set them on fire. But I'm guessing... an arrangement more like this. not exactly like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um oh, Let's leave that there for now. Oh good, they respawned. Okay, never mind. Oops. Good to know. Be careful building in wood. Alright, let's actually... I've never... I've never really done anything at all with balloons. Let's examine these in more detail. So if I put that there... Would I then 
and be capable. Nice. I assume I'm going to have to be fairly careful here. seem to want to go down and over it, does it? Oh, no. Okay. Well, how about... Oh, uh, uh, no. Oh, wrong. Get back down here. I mean, that's right, presumably. I don't know if this is going to be powerful enough with just the one. It doesn't seem to be stopping. So I guess that's good enough. Okay. I was going to make a more complicated contraption using both balloons, but I guess we're good. But we're also not complete yet, so let's see. Um, where's our balloony friend? Oh, you're too far away. That's unfortunate. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Ugh. That's all right. We can adapt and overcome. I just realized I'm a little farther farther away from the wall than I thought I was. Uh, but I can potentially go right up here. down there. So now we've got that available. And I can leave this one up here because I don't really care about that anymore. It's starting in about two and a half minutes, folks. Okay, now what's my purpose in getting up here? They've given me stocks of additional balloons up here. 
on the walkway, I can retrieve the ones that I've already got up here. I don't see anything to actually do, though. And I don't see anywhere else to go. Huh. You know what I don't see? I don't see any additional platforms. Oh. Damn it. Oh, crap, I get it. I get it. Unfortunately, I think I have to reset. Or uh, maybe I don't. I I've got enough to make one more platform. <laughs> We'll have to do that when I get back from great break, folks. I need to get up and move around a little bit and maybe make some more coffee. If you need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. I have loved this game for a very long time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. Bah! Oh my god! Don't you think so? Oh crap! I forgot! <laughs> Whoops. Uh... Good. The incident I'm referring to is a disagreement between two criminals. Greedo and Han Solo. Blasters were involved, and only one of them walked away from the scene. We've identified a number of witnesses to the scene still in Moss Eisley. Go gather statements from all of them to establish who shot first, Greedo or Solo. I love this so much. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics ragdolling? Holy crap. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> Serana. Oh my god. She made me fall through the floor. Oh good. I I <sighs> Serana! Get out of the way. What? What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it. And it looks like... they know. Well... Let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. I was also looking at Star Citizen. Maybe you'll try that next week. Very nice, Jim. I've been having fun with it so far, even though I've never left this city, let alone this planet. 
So this is my fancy ship that I got with my old AMD R9 video card that I actually started streaming using. And then a few years ago I upgraded to the 1080 and haven't uh, used it since. But I got this ship at the same time that I got that card. This is a racing ship. It has no cargo capacity at all. So it, it would be very difficult to try to make any money with this. Although, it might be possible to manually stuff some cargo in the back there, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's about that. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound is impressive. Oh boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. 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 Okay. Hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. Wow. Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Uh, I'm not finding any ultimate weapons, although I got lots of other crap. No pun intended. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. <laughs> oh. Okay, I am back. There we are. And you know what? I'm just gonna let you go back to your thing. I was very tricksy of them, 
putting that button right there where you can't see it if you float up above. Get back here. What? Ah, there we go. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> and here I thought we were finished. So once I drop down there, I lose access to everything behind. Oh man, okay. Kind of, oh, no I don't, there's a ladder. Interesting, they won't stick together that way. They will stick together that way. Oh, but, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to do this individually. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put them through when they're oriented upwards. I'm gonna have to go through like this. sure I've got as many resources available as I can for strict utility and or ridiculous shenanigans one or the other and that means we have to go retrieve the other stuff too Now, is this close enough to get the other stuff? It sure isn't. Um, what have I got? Do I have a, I have a fanny thingy. That's a technical term, by the way, guys. I expect... Incorrectly, that that would move me. I keep thinking this is similar to Breath of the Wild. Wait, did that actually move me? Oh, we... Oh, I'm going to shatter the thing under me, aren't I? Maybe I should be more careful about that. It is moving me just the smallest amount. I don't think it's enough. Okay. You know, I think that'll do. Nope. Gimme. There we go. Before I go and toss that into the abyss, let's... Hmm, it's still too high. That's all right, not a problem. I 
just going to carefully arrange it so that we come up directly under and why will it not let me angle my Ooh, yeah the shadows are offset interesting okay so we're gonna put that there actually while I'm thinking about it I'm also gonna drop these down because uh, like I said all the resources I don't know if they'll still be lit when they get down there but we will find out This one I think maybe I'll leave at the top so that I can ignite a torch. Oh, actually there are torches down there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Closer to our target, so we're gonna go right here. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Um, now the other one. Come on, Link. You can do it. See if these will fit. They will not. Not that way, at least. But they will this way. Probably want to be careful not to set the stuff below actually on fire, if I can avoid it. So let's not drop lit torches directly down on top of them. Okay, I don't see any accidental fires or burned crap. We do have torches, we do have flames, we do have this thing. Perfect. We would seem to be in business. Now that looks like where we've got to get through, so what do we have to do? There was a thing up there. <clears throat> Around holy bit. So I think what we're gonna do 
is we're going to attach this ball to the center of this platform. And then I'm going to make a weird floaty contraption. That's a bit bigger than standard. Uh, what happened to my other... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. Hey, Dova. Things are going okay. How are you? It's good to see you. I hope everybody's had a fantastic week so far. We're now on what? It's um, Friday, right? My sense of time has not done well with my new schedule so far. I will adapt and get better at it, but man, it is hard to keep track sometimes of what day it actually is. Okay, yeah, it looks like we've got to get both balls up onto that area there. So we need the big one and we need the little one too. starting to question whether I'm going to be able to do that with only two things. Are you? Let's go there. It's still not very well attached. I'll take it. It's good enough. So they're all just kind of offset off the corners. Now how many potential balloon lifty object thingies do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a pretty good match to the number of torches. <clears throat> Happy your Gundam kits are snap-on parts. No glue. Very nice. I want to see if I can find the minimum number of parts that I need for this. but I'm going to assume it's going to be at least four. Oh, no! Get back. No, hang on. You're too close to the candles. There you go. Hooks. 
Now this is going to be interesting because it's going to try to lift up at the corners and then at the sides. So I need to try to be a little bit careful with how I distribute the lift forces. Come on. Come on, there we go. Okay, yeah, so two completely incapable of lifting this. Three? Ooh, three is making some progress. But that one corner is still not quite making it. Four might do it. Come on. I love that this game has you build things to solve puzzles. Yeah, the problem is it's way trickier to do this than people think it is. I think we're going to have to try to get this. Oops. That's one. Oh, interesting. So what's the other door then? Oh, crap. <laughs> um... I'm confused. <laughs> Wasn't there a door down below that I was supposed to get to? I mean, I guess I can just go back down there because I've got the ladder back up. Or is that... Okay, that's not actually a door. Got it. first. More opal. Excellent. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. And there we go. I can get another bit of my stamina wheel or another heart. 
I've done stamina a few times now. I'm actually getting tempted to maybe get another heart. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Maybe if we end up making our way over to Dorito Village, I'll see about getting another heart or something. Or if we end up going back somewhere else that's got a shrine. All right, so that's that. I'm guessing that that weird contraption thing over that way is where we need to go. I do believe that's where Lady Impa would be. And it looks like right on theme, this is a balloon area. What is it meant to depict? Uh. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. The Sheikah Elder. Oh, she used to live in Kakariko Village. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. Hmm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? What? She still has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere, images that sprawled across fields and hills. Oh. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand that they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. Yeah. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Okay, we will fix your balloon. Impa's profile's been added. Oop. I want a closer vantage for this. Oop, oop, oop. Come on. There we go. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to look at the geoglyph then? Oh. Time to head out then. Ah, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Can't carry more, huh? Um, I can drop that for now. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Get back down here. No. Damn it. <laughs> Link? Link! Where did you disappear to? I missed my ride. <laughs> oh, I have to do it over again. Well, that was dangerous. Shall we try again from the start? Uh, this is going to cost me my weapon, isn't it? Oh, the torch is gone! That's exactly what I was worried about. Things have a habit of disappearing in this game, and I don't care for it. Hey, you bring light in. Oh, you know what I guess I could do instead of messing around with torches? I could always... 
do this. Oh. Link. Huh? Hey, come back. You forgot me. <laughs> I forgot myself, too. Don't worry about it. How are things going? You bring light in. It's really good to see you. I hope all is well with you. Starting over. All I need is a clear view of the geoglyph. Try to move us straight upward without going into any other directions. Well, you could try standing in the balloon. I'm just saying. That's a thing that could happen. No, okay, so I can't do that. Whoa, what is... Man, the shadows from the Sky Islands, it's going to take some getting used to. Maybe there's a torch around the thing here. Bit tired clearing out an old shed. Amazing what got dumped in there. Busy with gardening. Oh, very nice. I hope it's going well. Not much of a wagon. Oh, a customer? Folks don't usually drop by this late at night. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use a stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? <laughs> well, well, since he asked. <laughs> After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this beaut. Mm. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to and I'll be set. There's a stash of unused building materials at every stable. No two stashes will have the exact same materials. But they do have one thing in common. They're open for everyone to use, no questions asked. If you catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There are lots of them around here, as a matter of fact. It's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch down and sneak up on them or they'll run away. Even after you do catch one, you have to soothe the horse or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. <sighs> Fine, don't offer to help. <sighs> do I look like I can fix a horse-drawn wagon on my own? It's not as if I wouldn't pay you back. I'd give you all my savings, in fact. Horse-drawn dreams. Okay, where is this cache of building supplies that they've got lying around? We're gonna ditch the magic rod. I'll take the frickin' torch. Oh, there we go. I will help you with the wagon wheels. You're on your own for the horse, though. It's fixed? Huh? It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Oh. Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from my dream of having a horse-drawn wagon. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest, catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? Well, you'll figure it out, or you won't. Either way, not my problem. So did you find anything awesome in that shed? I've had a pretty good week. It's been very productive. I've been working on using ChatGPT to make a Discord bot <clears throat> to replace my streamer's going live notification system. 
the one I have has a cap of 25 streamers that you can add. And I have way more than that that I want to add. So I've been trying to work on my own. And I made a huge amount of progress over, I guess, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. I only started Tuesday afternoon, and I've got a mostly working script now. It just needs a little bit of... Um, a little bit of checking, fine-tuning, fixing, that sort of stuff. And then I should be good to go. There we are. Just a load of broken pots and a busted bench. Low-grade scrap metal, some rusted tools, that sort of thing. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Now, Impa, you're coming along this time, right? She's not coming along. <laughs> ah. Hey, come back. You forgot me. I guess I have to talk to her again. I haven't really touched ChatGPT. I find it really useful, but I do have a little bit of an advantage there, I admit. Yeah. Telling it to write code is very, very similar to the design documentation that I used to write when I was telling human programmers what to program to make a game. So it's, it's, it's almost like an interesting return to work except that I have complete creative control over the entire process and I have to see all the iterative you know, bug fixing steps and all that. All I need is a clear view of the geoglyph. Try to move it straight upward without going in other directions. Okay. Not so close. That's fine. Can we talk? Hello? Hmm. Are you going to take me to a spot above the geoglyph this time? No promises. Oh. I thank you, Link. Now let's hop aboard. Yeah, okay, so I had to talk to her. Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Okay, good. She's aboard. Now let's make sure I'm aboard. Too high up. I feel faint. <clears throat> but finally we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village's old literature. A passage about what the ancients called Dragon's Tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. I believe this geoglyph is one such image, but even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. Well, it looks very much like one of the uh, Zonai to me. Nor can I figure out what Dragon's Tears might be. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyph or even within its borders. Oh. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yeah. If you would like to examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. So I'm just going to abandon you up here. That sounds great. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. I can't help but notice that the glue is completely obstructing the flame's heat from getting up into the balloon. So that's fun. All right. See you later. Okay, so we do have a few little rock formations here. Let's go examine everything we can within the borders of the geoglyph. <laughs> Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Thank you. 
Sorry, little guy. Royal Ancient Lab Ruins. What? Oh. Okay. Well, I won't worry about them just yet. Nothing there. You hitched a ride on the balloon and saw the whole geoglyph from the air. According to Impa, hidden somewhere in the geoglyph is something called a dragon's tear. Search the most likely spot to find it. Okay, I think we're out of the geoglyph area now. That there is the Korok. No, we're not trying to move boulders, Link. Come on. I guess that's technically... Uh, you know what? Just in the interest of trying to complete the quest, let's fail miserably at this. Need more stealthiness. Also, no dragon steer. Yeah, I'm trying to complete a mission, Greeny. It's not for me. It's for the lady with the wagon. Thank you guys. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured, P perfect for pulling my wagon. What? You mean that you'd really part with such a wonderful horse? Oh. Thank you, wow, who knew stuff like this really happened? I'm so, so happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness? Hi. A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on horses you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can get one as a prize. Are you a stable member? No? Then by all means, go up to the stable counter and register for a membership. So bear with me a moment. It 
exactly, Aranar. How are you doing today, Greeny? And we're all set. I can't believe it, a wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. To think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this. Amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you, no forcing you to take it, please. I'll take it, not bad. Oh, that's right, there's one last order of business. What's your name? Link? Hmm, Zumi, Link. Maybe Zuli or Lumi, or what about Zunk? <laughs> I'll call this wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. Feel free to come visit the two of us anytime. Okay, now we have to get back to it. I'm trying to find the dragon's tear in the glyph here. Oh, she managed to get her landing done. Excellent. Okay. So we've already gone up. We've already looked at the thing. Actually, you know what? Dragon's tier. I don't think the Zonai are actually dragons, but let's go look around the eye area. I guess that's confirmation. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? She just trusts them, I know. <laughs> but that must mean... Clearly, the most obvious explanation is that she has time-traveled, and not that these two random people are just lying to her. Is she related to Peach? Maybe. They are both princesses. Royal families like to trade around a lot. There's a lot of interconnected, like, uh, heritage there. Where am I? After disappearing into the depths under the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves as King Raru and Queen Sonia. She's left startled by a suspicion that she's heard those names before. Impa and the Geoglyphs, complete. Aww. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? Oh, 
goodness, you say you had a vision, saw mysterious figures, and then Princess Zelda? Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may f contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. The Dragon's Tears. Well, that sounds good and all, but we have another tower to visit, it looks like. By the way, Greeny, I built one of those hover bikes that you're so fond of. It is pretty awesome. It is also pretty useless with the amount of battery that I've got, so I'm not going to really bother making them for a little while longer. We'll have to see. But when you've got a lot more battery power available to you, I can definitely see that being a really good way to get around. Oh. Oh, I recognize you, sir. I think. Is that tree dude? Just filled your fourth battery. Very nice. Those trees over there. So scary. Hestu's concerns. I apologize, Greeny, but these trees are not friends. These are definitely not tree friends. Stop dodging. Your roots are terrible. You hated doing this. Sturdy thick stick. Three minute warning on ads, guys. We're going to have a break in about three minutes. A solid stick cut from the crooked branch of a tough tree. It has high durability despite the way it looks. Until you found other information regarding them. Okay. Oh, uh, that's not one of them. There you are. Your theory is they aren't really trees, they just disguise themselves as trees? I like it. The scary things are gone. You see me? You see me. My name is Hestu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest up northeast. I'm known for my, my maracas and my dancing. Thanks for your help, Shashaka. To show my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. But the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was all in a panic. 
Hang on. Do you have a Korok seed? I have eight of them, actually. You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. So which stash? I want melee, please. Here you go. Very happy. If you bring me more Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory again. Uh, speaking of, I'm in the middle of traveling. I'm thinking about heading east next. There's so many monsters these days that traveling is dangerous. What I'd like is to find somewhere I can relax. I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere lots of people hang out. Wait a sec, you still have Korok seeds. I know. Some people have weird tastes, though, Aranar. We'll continue with this in just a minute. It's time for me to take a break, so I'll be back in about three and a half to five. But. Oh, my God. Don't you think so? What? Okay. I call BS on that. Oh, okay. Battle it is. Now we gotta try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. Oxygen. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. It might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. Was that? I've never seen that before. You're in a passage. You're in a maze of twisty little passages, all alike.
want the extra science, so let's go with that. I'll try for the hanging gardens. I don't think I'm going to get it, but we'll try it. Okay, I am back. And wow, Civ 5 looks really weird to me after being used to 6 for so long. Let the expansion begin. Thank you, Aranor. Thank you, Sketchy, and welcome back. How are you doing? Oh, look at the time. I've got to get a move on. I'll be heading east soon. I hope I can find a place where I can relax. I still don't have enough Korok seeds, so get out there and find more for me, okay? Alrighty, next time we meet, let's dance together. Oh, he's actually moved. Alright. Hestu, spirited musician of Korok Forest. A tree fairy with a song in his heart. He is only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches, but he has trouble keeping track of the Korok seeds his magical maracas require. The Sheikah Elder, Impa. Former chief of the Sheikah who served the royal family of Hyrule for generations and is a living witness to its near extinction. Sometime after guiding Link through the calamity, Impa made her granddaughter Paya the new chief. Being over a century old hasn't stopped Impa from doing her part in the search for Princess Zelda. She's investigating the geoglyphs around Hyrule, certain they will provide clues to where the princess is. Yeah, his new dance is pre doing pretty uh, good there. Doing great, excellent to hear. I'm glad to hear it. Chickaloo tree nut. No, no, no. Well, that's sneaky. They stuck a cave in there. Lindor's Brow Cave. That's a very deep cave. I don't think we're going to go there just yet. trying to get to a tower. There it is. Now that cave is marked on my map now, right? Yes, it is. Good. Okay. I love that they do that because that will make coming back to places again really easy. Ow! You colossal jerk. Uh... What?! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> okay, so you don't have forever to throw them. You have to do it pretty quickly. They explode if you don't throw them fast enough? Got it. Noted. Okay. Fair enough. That's better. Oh, no. Oh. 
Come here. Man, you're just everywhere. Oh, construction materials. How convenient. Oh, don't worry about links too much. Sketchy. I'm not that fussed about it. The bots bothered more than I am. It's time to build a completely imaginative and highly original concept in traversal. I'm going to call it a bridge. Where do you put the wheels on this bridge? Wherever you want them. Bridges are flexible that way. You were trying to clip the exploding rock? That sounds fair to me. I think this will do. Lindor's Brow Sky View Tower. Dragon! We will get to that dad joke in just a moment, Sketchy. Bentha Frontier, Hyrule Ridge. Surface map updated.
sky map updated. Now, I saw on our way up a shrine, so let's plummet back down and see if we can't get over there. I'm sure there are a vast number of useful things, but I don't know what you're referring to. So I'll just have to find it in due time. Runicate Shrine. Once we get inside, I'll do the dad joke. I have not forgotten, don't worry. Well, we're on the other side of that chasm where I had to spend a million years trying to get the dragon scale. I remember that. Built to carry Runicate Shrine. Alright, guys. We have had a redemption for a terrible punter dad joke, so just give me half a second here. And I apologize for the psychic damage you're about to suffer. What does a man eat when he's cold and angry? A burger. There you go. Okay. Built to carry. This sounds like it's going to be a very fun one. Unlike that joke for which I apologize profusely. Oh yes, this is another rail one. I love these. All right, so let's have a look around. We need a ball to drop in here. That's where we ultimately need to end up. So presumably we have to build a thing. Ah uh, yes, there's that's the big ball up there. At least the rail ones aren't on tracks. I mean, that's true. Okay, so it looks like we have to start out by going over here. And climbing up here. Oh, I think... Nope, right, I forgot. While regular climbing, you recover stamina. Okay. Now. We've got the thing. We know what we need, and we know where we need to get it. Can't help but notice a scarcity of building materials here, though. There are a couple of things here. Actually, this uh, looks like several things. Okay, so we've got a lot of platforms over this way. We've got stone slabs. Which is good, because we have to make another imaginative ladder, or a bridge, it looks like.
Okay, that'll do to get the chest if I can if I can maybe not walk off the edge that would be fantastic Ooh. Yep. new bow <laughs> Good thing I can just glide back. Okay. Hoping this is maybe just possibly long enough that I can make another bridge. Ooh, I've got a little bit of an issue here. No, that's not long enough. Maybe here? Maybe just a little bit? No? Damn it. I mean, ooh, that's a bit of a stretch. I don't think I can reach anything I can use to extend it, though. Is there anything up higher? I don't know what's on top of these floaty bits. That seems like it might be... No, wrong. It might be worth investigating that. Okay, so the one with the chest seems to be about the only thing, maybe? Yeah, I don't really see anything there. There were no building materials over on the other side, were there? Where we started from? Not certain.
Oh, damn it. That kind of works. Except now I had no way to get there. Well, I guess I can do this. Um, the problem is they're not giving me any real hooks or anything. I mean, I suppose technically... Can I reach that at all? Oh, you can actually walk along these. Toga, how are you doing? Or Tagame, I'm learning, I swear. Oh, shoot. Yeah. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. How are you today? I'm doing pretty fantastic today. Oh, actually... Maximum length, so let's let's just do that. Oh God! I suddenly see why they made certain decisions. Just to make it as awkward as possible. Oh no! I think I figured it out at least. At least how to get the stuff there, if not how to make proper use of it. You play Final Fantasy XIV? I didn't know that. I know, it's a mystery, right? How did that happen? One does not simply play Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV plays you. I do believe that's probably accurate. Guys, if you don't know Tagami, she is an amazing streamer. 
just recently got affiliated. So if there's anybody in here who's not already following her, please make sure you go and correct this grievous oversight. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? The only bad thing about Togame is the lack of cat girl. That is not a fault. That is, I would not call it a, I, I would call that a neutral trait. It's neither positive nor negative. Now that I am safely on this side. Let's see if I can roll this down there. There we go. So that's all of our potential building materials in one spot. I will not conform. I see what the cat girls do in Limsa. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Ansara. There we go. There's no way this is too flimsy to hold a, anything up. I wish they'd make female Ara more monstrous like in the concept art or even like the males, but the devs wanted waifus, yeah. It happens. Thank you. 
You guys are deep into territory I know literally nothing about. Just so you're aware. And that's not a problem. I'm just saying. And I'm dead. <laughs> so now I probably have to do all that building again. Food, that would be real helpful. I don't know what you mean, Anstara, and I'm not entirely certain I would like to know. Uh, that'll do for now. Crap. Yes, I have to rebuild it all. Okay. No, no, oh, damn it. Okay. At least that one's easy to redo. <laughs> Only thing I don't like about this shrine so far is that it's very fiddly. I suppose that's technically a uh, criticism of the entire building system, but this seems a lot more fiddly than most. I actually just had a thought. Hang on. Somehow it never occurred to me to actually just try sticking this on the rails. Actually, before I do anything there, let's... Uh, mm, yeah, okay, that looks good. So now I can literally get all my stuff where it needs to go. Oh. Or not. All right. I 
think I see. No, wrong. Let's stick this in here so it doesn't go rolling off the edge or anything. Well, it was Aaron Laura. I just wasn't sure if the rails were of an appropriate size, and so I kind of figured that these smaller bits were for doing exactly what I'm doing now. I just... I had an impression of different sized rails that seems to be accurate. I thought I was going to need this bit earlier, though. No. Better. I thought there was going to be more setup for bringing it down the rails. And in fairness, there is. It's just, it's suitable for the first bit of rail off the bat. I wasn't expecting, because I didn't bother to check. There we go. Okay. That's just rude. As soon as I take that off, things are going to go badly. Let's rethink this. That's more like it. Nope, nope. Oh, actually, you know what? We're fine. Now the next tricky part is getting it down to there. The problem some people might have, not me, but hypothetical people with regards to streaming is if they happen to use visual mods to give said cat girls more aesthetically interesting looks is that said people could get in trouble since Square Enix has a bit of a don't ask, don't tell policy with such mods. That's fair. That is quite true. Make sure you remove your mods. 
you've had yeah i've had to be careful with fallout and with skyrim Even if you don't use mods that are specifically problematic, sometimes they come with stuff that can be problematic anyway. So it's always worth double checking. Really should get back into finishing New Vegas, but Zelda, I know. I know. <laughs> It's a struggle. Okay, so we've got this. We have only a single rail. You were bitten by the Zelda bug. Yeah, the confounded Zelda bug. Now, I'm kind of thinking this, that was a very useful bridge design, but it's not really serving our needs here, I don't think. We need to build some sort of a, more of a contraption-like deal. Greeny, I've been watching you for years and I haven't even noticed that. <laughs> I don't pay much attention to streamers' backgrounds unless they draw attention to it specifically. It's only been there since you changed locations. Well, that just makes it even less likely that I'd notice. Um... There are like a billion ways that you could do this. How are you supposed to choose a method? falling off on me. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be the worst case, because this is actually where it's supposed to reappear. Um... Hey, Voidum, how are you doing? Hyrule Historia, what is that? Why is this offset? I 
I don't like it. Oh, I think maybe, maybe I see. The two sides aren't even, are they? No, wrong. I think I just put it back the way it was. you just mind blown and super happy when they finally finally released the Zelda official timeline I didn't know they had but I can understand why you would be this works better It definitely seems like the Zelda timeline is a bit of a mess. Or was. Maybe now it's better. That looks much easier to work with. Okay. Breath of the Wild and thus Tears of the Kingdom is in an unknown place. Very nice. Breath of the Wild, they claimed, was at the end of all timelines. Well, wouldn't this then logically, shouldn't this occur after, like it continues the timeline of Breath of the Wild, right? I know the whole Zelda thing kind of throws a bit of a mess into things. No. That is incorrect. That's better. Okay. We put that into place later. I can barely move this thing without that attached. This is the sequel to Breath. They really couldn't help muddying the waters again immediately after finally clearing it all up. This is the sequel, but it's also confusing how some of the lore from this fits into the prior lore. I'm sure it fits into the prior lore perfectly well, as long as you're willing to accept that the prior lore is going to be clarified as a result of all of this. Uh, I have grave misgivings about letting that go. Hang on just a second. I want counterbalance forces.
Okay, that's better. Yeah, I think that was necessary. I'm sure they won't wait another 37 years to clear it up again. No, why would they do that? That would be ludicrous. Now I have another concern about this, and that is I don't know how I'm going to get the ball into there. But let's see if it can work. Actually, I can think of one way that it might work. Oh, never mind. That's not an issue. Oh god, no! Whew. Okay. Little problem. Little problem. Your invention was wonky too. I'm not surprised. Not surprised in the slightest. Mine's not finished though. should take care of most of it. Assuming, and this is kind of a big assumption, assuming that uh, that connection is strong enough to hold all of this. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. <laughs> oh, it does! That's... I still have to go get the sticks, though. But that does simplify things a bit, so... Yeah, that's a good thing. Also, minute and a half warning. I have to take a break in about a minute and a half. Yes, I do need the sticks. Actually, I don't know for certain that I truly need them, but I want them. They are tools at my disposal, so I would rather have them than not have them. The bot knows me. The bot knows my stress levels are rising. are starting shortly so if you guys will bear with me why how <sighs> it's three o'clock already i will be back in a few minutes i'll probably be closer to like uh, seven or eight minutes because i'm gonna go make some tea i'll be back in a bit 
And if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. So I'll catch you back here in just a few. Hey! Hey! That's my tank! I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Hey, can you guys hang on there for just half a second? I have to scan this thing. You don't mind, right? No, it's not gonna let me. That's annoying. Priorities game, priorities. There we go. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Oh, no. Whoops. You got him? Look at that. Holy crap, it looks so nice. I had done some parking jobs in this game. Holy crap. That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> That is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. Oh, nice. The agreed upon amount. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Una. You need not kill her, but I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Holda! Holda! I feel so betrayed. That was my cheese, Holda! Okay, dog. You're coming with me. Thank you for saving me. Braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. 
tu ni pudu. Rana nu prata dung no sercha itu apenki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Whoops. I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh hey, my what god. what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> Or if maybe the spear would be easier. Ah! Oh, jeez. Why, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. Arch enemy discovered. Okay. I should start the break right now. Actually, no, it's okay. It's not going to take a minute and a half to die. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Well, that's a hell of an intro. Uh oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. When you die, you leave behind a Neko, which can be revived by other players. That's cool. Holy crap, Lady Devon! That's awesome! Lady Devon is another streamer. I don't know if you guys know her, but I know her. She's awesome. So apparently she's playing this. Nominal. Okay, I am back, and I have an idea. It's probably a terrible idea, but we're going to try it anyway. And I might not need the sticks. Thank you, Aranor. <sighs> Thank you, Instara. Okay, let me see here.
So do I, Aaron Larm. So do I. Nope, my idea won't work. <laughs> okay, back to the drawing board. I was gonna time travel it back, hold it in place, and attach something more secure while it was suspended by recall, and then have it slide down. But I don't seem to be able to use Ultra Hand while recall is still going. I do wonder, though. It's not going to do it. I could just do that. Do you appear to be trying my stupid idea? Excellent. What makes a meal brunch? Does it have to take place at a certain time, or is it just when it replaces both breakfast and lunch? I would argue in favor of the latter, just because my former sleep schedule, actually even still my current sleep schedule to a lesser degree, really does not conform to standard times of day, so I don't like defining meals by, cal by, by, the, by the clock, you know? It's more the order of events. It's the meal you eat between breakfast and lunch, a.k.a. second breakfast. That also could work. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. This is probably a good time to remind everybody, or let those who haven't been on Discord know, I am planning on streaming on Sunday for a change, and it's not just going to be a regular, hey, I'm going to stream on Sunday type of thing. I'm going to do another long stream. So I plan to be on from 12 to 12, at least, probably more.
With my diet, I don't ever have breakfast, so I just have two meals a day. So, like, does that make every lunch? Because my meals are l supper, lunch and supper officially into brunch. Because I'm also breaking your fast on it. That's an interesting edge case that I don't know that I could define easily. I think in that case, you could go flex on it and maybe say that it depends on what kinds of food you eat as well. Are you eating brunch type of food when you have lunch? Or are you eating more lunch style, like traditional lunch? And do you feel that should play into the definitions? Okay, so we traveled all the way from there. Now where are we? What? The Dragon's Tears? They want us to go all the way there? Oh, actually, there's a... there. Or, sorry, there was a tower. There was a Sheikah Tower up that way, wasn't there? I guess that's not so bad. Let's go back to our tower over that way. That's irrelevant. You eat pancakes at 2 a.m.? I... I completely disagree. It is very relevant. But it's also optional. It doesn't mean that you have to call it brunch just because you ate pancakes at 2 a.m. It's a factor, not a necessarily a uniquely definitive factor. Sorry, sir. No can do. Do I have anything to ditch? I can probably... Oh, I have a book goblin arm. Excellent. Have a great day, Greeny. Thank you so much for stopping in. I see brunch as people too ashamed of day drinking to just call it that. That could also work. I think these are all potentially useful definitions. None of them are inherently defining, but all of them can contribute. Oh, I forgot to talk to the person I just helped save. It's probably too late now. Oh, are you a traveler? You don't look like any traveling merchant I've ever seen before. Ah. The name's Kalisa. I'm a legendary treasure hunter of the Gerudo. Nice to meet you. Have you heard about the strange phenomena going on all over the regions of Hyrule? Ah. Islands floating in the sky and caves opening up everywhere? It's a dream come true for a treasure hunter. Mm. As a legendary treasure hunter, I am more than happy to share some tips with you. The key to making new discoveries is being able to get somewhere high up. A cliff, ruins that have fallen from the sky, as long as it's high up, it'll work just fine. Ah. So get high up and look around. You're bound to discover all kinds of things. I'd better get going, but I hope we meet again. Savork. I don't think I've ever heard Savork before. <laughs> but when I brunch with my sister, she gets us mimosas. Nice.
So yes, all the self-interrogation is to determine whether I'm having pizza for brunch or for lunch soon. Either way, pizza sounds amazing, and actually I will be ending around 6 o'clock instead of 6.30 tonight, specifically so that I can go and make pizza as well. Mm. Not what I wanted. Share with the class? I would love to. Pizza Timbits? The very idea is an affront. Timbits are supposed to be sweet, not savory. Now, if you want to make pizza Timbits, but then name them something different so that it doesn't come with all the cognitive dissonance, then that might be a whole other story, and I would be all for it. Don't they already have something like that, like Pizza Bites or something? It's a little clunky this time, but it works. What if it was a pizza tin bit with pineapple? Then that's even more delicious. Yes, Toga. Pizza and pineapple are two great tastes that go great together. You're just going to have to learn to accept it one of these days. Oh, that looks fun. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. This looks a lot like snowy Frostland. That's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Oh, there's the little cliff edge that we were on when I was trying to get the dragon in Breath of the Wild. And yes, now I'm suddenly freezing to death. Crap. We might not be able to continue this mission right away. Oh, crap. Marita Exchange Ruins. It's been nice knowing you. Wow, Doga. 
One dessert I love is pineapple upside down cake, and now I'm imagining a Timbit made with in that vein. Oh, that would be really good. Olives, I can tolerate olives in small numbers. I don't like them and would never voluntarily put them on, but I won't throw up if they happen to make their way onto the pizza. But sardines, no. Absolutely not. That's a terrible atrocity. Am I the only person that just eats pretty much any food? I eat pretty much any food. I'm just a little more... picky about what I grant the label of food to. I've always considered seafood to be grossly misnamed, for example. It's clearly not food. My dad likes sardines on pizza, which is like his one big weird thing. That said, we always demand he not order it. <laughs> Reasonable. Hey, Vikings, how's it going? Sorry, been lurking for like three hours, but su been super busy with work. No worries. I appreciate the lurk. How are you doing? Hey, Shrine, we can do that. I need to get on with getting some money so that I can get gear that will allow me to survive the cold better. Maybe we need to actually gasp, go down into the underground. Or the underdark, as I like to call it. My work's been quiet, thankfully, so I'm able to loudly lurk. Excellent. Just juggling a crazy number of projects? Oh, fun. Oh, shoot. They're bringing horse-drawn wagons into a fight. Of course, that means they are bringing a wagon into the fight. Judge the arrow speed. Sorry, horse. That works. I love the wheels just kind of continuing to roll around. That's awesome. I'm going to order Togame or to, to get. Oh my god, now I'm having all the problems with your name again. I've got like three versions of your name just all fighting in my brain. I'm going to order Togame a pineapple and anchovy pizza to eat on stream if she doesn't get through the raid tonight. Oh god. If you do that, I'm sure my cats would enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I would highly recommend never ever setting up TreatStream or any similar food delivery service tied to your Twitch account. Just saying. Fire and ice. Kyuyu Shrine. Which I'm badly pronouncing, but there you go. Uh, 
Oh, I think I recognize this. I might have seen Ash Monster work on this one. Let's see. Will this... No. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I've seen not all of this, but a little bit of this. That's probably too much. P9's onward, just stuck at the limit because low, but we're basically there. Won't be adding that kind of thing. I've seen enough trolling through Twitch. Not that Aaron Lore would scare me. It's some random that might. I mean, that's reasonable. Oh, wait, what? Oh, interesting. I think I can get back down. Without this. Or maybe? Okay. Zonite Spear. Um, <laughs> now nah, I'll leave that one. Okay, so now what do we gotta do? I've got lots of ice chunks. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, shoot. I need the big plate, because that looks like a button means I need to weigh it down, but I can't weigh it down with ice, so I need something that's either going to weigh it down on its own or is going to protect the ice. I think that's a reasonable assumption, Space Vikings. We 
can potentially test my theory here. Well, I was able to depress the button for just a moment. Hey, no, 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 no. No telling me how to do it, Vikings. And in this game, there's no such thing as you were supposed to do this. If something that you do works, then that's what you were supposed to do. Come on, dispenser. Did I break it? I'm confused. Well, like I said, I only saw a little bit of this. I have a kind of a general idea, but a lot of the specifics are not there. Okay, so I can get rid of that one too. wants to give me the one. But I've got another one down there. Maybe that's all I need. There has to be a reason it would give you two at the start, though. better. You know? Well, let's see if I can do it this way. Use the stone as a heat shield. 
Oh, that's why. One of the ice cubes is still there. It's just a tiny little ice cube that for some reason is not actually melting. There we go. How it survived that inferno, I don't know. Maybe it was just perfectly positioned that it wasn't actually melting anymore. Magic, yes. The most powerful ice cube. Yep. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. I really gotta find a shrine one of these days. Interesting. Fairies will restore some hearts. It doesn't say they will restore you to life. Well, I guess if you fall in battle, that kind of implies it's restoring you to life, but it doesn't say that it's going to fully restore all of your health. Oh, hey, what's up, sir? We haven't done one of these today yet. Addison. Oh, I... Yeah, oh. <laughs> nope. Didn't mean that. Sorry, Addison. Alright, let's see what we have to work with here. Okay, that should be easy. Try letting go. This time for real. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something that I made myself. Ah, oh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Okay. 
where to? Well, it wants us to go that way, does it? Is that right? No. It wants us to go that That can't be... Uh, yeah, okay, so we have to scale the cliff, which means going into the snowlands, right, and I can't do that. Okay, so never mind. Uh, what else do we have in the adventure log? Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Pura said you might learn more by looking into the major phenomena that are troubling some regions. It won't let me select it. Oh. Right. Okay. So only some of them are actually directly selectable. That's fair enough, I guess. Why is Legend of Zelda better than Star Wars? It has triple the force. That's fighting words, man. But it's also true and kind of funny. We're going to go back here and we're going to try and find the one thing. Oh, there's another shrine over there. Okay, where are we going? We're going over here. Oh, I've used up all my regular things. That's no good. Oh, hang on. That's going to be Goron territory, isn't it? We probably don't want to do that one first. Maybe we should go for this one. Somebody built a sky elevator. That's interesting. Or a space elevator. I think that was a shooting star, but I've already missed it, so no point in worrying about that one. Yep, there are definite flames over there. Go play with fire. Fight bad jokes with other bad jokes. I don't know if that's such a great idea. Kala Citadel Ruins. Alright, before we do this, we'll do the terrible pun or dad joke. Okay. Why should you never go to a cheap eye surgeon? They cut corneas. There we go. Oh, I see proper cannons. Interesting. Wouldn't be so cold if you didn't have sandal boots and a toga as your only clothes. I'm working on it. I'm not making money very quickly. 
Surprisingly enough, being a random adventurer doesn't pay very well. That's wrong. No, we want that. Interesting. Then D&D lied to me and also Elder Scrolls and Final Fantasy. Actually, I think Lonk is just bad at this. It's possible. That was inconsiderate. Just gonna run in while it's spinning. What is this? Okay. Oh. Alright, so what's where that I need to be aware of? Well, for starters, if this spins. Where am I likely to fall out and end up in my doom? And where am I actually supposed to be going? That's maybe another good question to be considering. Looks like potentially maybe up that away. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there's a there's a chest over that way. Pathfinder 2E has been decent at not throwing too much money at the players. I think that's more a matter of the DM or the GM than the system. That looks more like it. Okay. Oh. back okay where is that chest now it's up there Take it. Well, I mean, it looks like it should be climbable, but you never know. Maybe these sort of lighter colored edge bits are actually razor sharp, and so he would slice his fingers off if he tried. It's hard to tell just by seeing it.
Well, it's a shame I can't fire arrows at that one from here. Yeah, that's where we need to get to, I guess. You're kidding me. Well, that's just irritating. Three minute warning, guys. Taking a break in about three minutes. That doesn't help as much as I was hoping it was going to, but all right. Strong Zonite Shield. I think we can drop that one. Or actually, let me check. Um... get rid of that one because I would like to actually have one that's not conductive that would be helpful okay so I got that chest oh that might have I think that was the chest I was actually trying to get that's cool news So I think we're going to have to use Ascend, which means I probably need to arrange so that I've got stuff that I can Ascend into, because right now it yeah, it's tricky. I don't think I can ascend up there, can I? No, that's too high. So it's got to be something sort of mid-height, like here, for example. But this doesn't actually help me. All right. I need to take that break, though, so if you guys will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few minutes. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time, and I'll be back in just a few. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, that is... Uh... Well... <laughs> <laughs> that was awkwardly placed. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. 
That is one huge door. My battle droids, they're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Well, I guess we should help him out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. <laughs> I'd, uh, really appreciate Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> um. Whoops. Oh no! Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? Hello. Okay, so... I'm dead. Keep your eyes open. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking you of... You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I love that clip. That was a great one. Thank you, Aaron Lar. Which clip was that, Vikings? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, hang on. Oh, God. Okay, it's a shame. Oh, I'm starting to see where the real puzzle elements come. If I can get myself into a position where I'm standing on that surface down there, then I would have no problem ascending up. Actually, can I ascend up here? Oh, hang on. No, that's also too high. Okay. Uh. This might work, though. Except I'm going the wrong way. Oh, but this still might work. 
Ta-da. Kind of inconveniently placed there, but okay. Nice. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offered this light that will cleanse you of evil. So what's up with the long-eared Hillian and the goat man who apparently told Zelda they founded Hyrule? They are the king and queen of Hyrule, those who founded the kingdom. Presumably those two. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Caves and wells have their own native flora and fauna. The Zonai are no more, as far as I'm aware. And I don't know why there aren't more long-eared Hylians. The sexual selection over thousands of years, maybe? Who knows? That's creepy tastic. Wow. I don't love that. Let's let's keep away from that. Huh. Go shake hands with it. I don't think I will. That is called gloom. It's a bad thing. Oh, I think that's that bridge that we had to deal with before. This is creepy. The depths. No. Um. A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Yeah. 
I have no idea if it was a good idea to come here or not. None whatsoever. Stop hitting that button. Oh, that's where my thing landed. Okay. I have a lot of seeds. That's a good thing. At least, it seems like a lot now. I'm also having to use quite a few. Who knows if it'll still seem like a lot shortly. That's a long way down. The amount of verticality in this game? Wow. a lot of gloom. Oh, crap. Ultra, what's up? Yeah, I'm in this area. Uh, oh, you know what? How are you doing, Ultra? It's so good to uh, get so good to see you. How are you feeling? Oh, I can't use this anymore. I almost forgot I had this fucking thing. Well, I seem to have gotten rid of them. That's a good thing.
You're doing a lot better than I was doing? Oh, what happened to you? Or do I want to know? Maybe I don't want to know. You are sick again, Ultra. You have to stop doing that. Don't know how to fight anything and just warped out. Well, I don't think fighting is significantly different down here. I mean, maybe there are specific monsters that are different. It wouldn't surprise me. It did mention something about uh, this area having its own sort of ecology. seen these before. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe that's not the weapon I want to be using. I'm not sure what that did. Okay, well, I have the makings of a balloon with its own light source. That's pretty handy. I've got some fans I can use. I've got some big slab thingies. It's a technical term. Oh, I've got uh, one of these things. Make it fly with only fans. Wow. So any idea what it is that you managed to get, Ultra? Hopefully nothing too serious. that thing.
That thing is cool. You'll like it. Why do I get distinct trolling vibes from that statement? Oh god, and Sarah, what have you done? Hang on just a moment here. Oh boy. Why should you never buy a cardboard belt? It's just a waste of paper. There you go. From this angle, it looks a lot more clear what that is. Uh, I don't like the looks of that, though. Not sure where uh, our Lizolfo's friend went. I don't think we'll miss him very much, though. Oh, what happened? I just wanted a terrible one so I could say to measure the quality of our puns, you need to use a seismograph. Oh my god. Wow, Anstara. Okay, you're right, Aaron Lar. No trolling. I do like this. That's quite a bit. That's quite good. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Uh, that's a tiny area. <laughs> um, that gives a whole lot of context to what Greeny was talking about. He was not kidding. This is huge. It's a telepoint, at least, and it dispels gloom. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, you're right. There is a lot less gloom around, and uh, there's more vegetation and stuff, too. That's heckin' cool. Yeah, this is literally the Underdark on Sara. Okay, well, that's our first foray into the Underground. It won't be our last, but I think we are going to probably return to the surface areas now. Um, 
Oh, this one. Oh, I recognize that area. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go to Kakariko Village. I want to see if I can get the map for that area or at least see what they've got available that I can use to upgrade because I think we're really limited by how limited my equipment is. I need to at least try to get some stuff that I can use to survive slightly colder temperatures because everything that I'm trying to do requires me to survive colder temperatures. So we're going to go back here, we're going to poke around, then we'll probably go back to Pura's area outside the castle and uh, see what's going on there. Okay, where are we? Oh, I know where we are, I think, roughly. That's the inn. That's the arrow store. Although they've got more than arrows now. They have creepy eyes, they've got wings, and they've got arrows. Which I will probably not need to really buy in this game, thankfully. Let's also use a less violent weapon when I'm in town. So that I don't accidentally explode somebody. Yes, the internet's re most recent fascination, that's true. Good grief, it's Lady Pia's duty to take care of the village, but whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I... Hmm? Whoa. Who? Is that really you? <gasps> Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. And right now, too, while our chief is... The chief? Oh. I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but... Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Oh. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zonai survey team. That ruin over there. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Would you do me a favor and stop by to see Lady Paya? At least 34? Wow, Aranar. I don't know. Does that seem likely? Calip's journal. While Taro and I were taking a break, he asked me, Hey, Calip, what attracted you to join the Zonai survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I'd heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of Taro. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I longed to continue. You're not like these other dullards, you know. You immediately grasp the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I am certain that Taro and no one else is a man is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Our leader Taro has done nothing but surprise me since I joined the Zonai survey team. One day I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. I wished him a good morning, and to that he turned to me and said, Ah, uh, Caleb, sorry, I didn't notice you. Working overtime today, huh? I thought back to the night before. As I was heading in, I saw Taro sitting on bare earth examining a stone slab. It hit me then. He had stayed up all through the night puzzling over the slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. I've never found that to be an enviable quality, really. It's a researcher's duty to use his wisdom and intuition to bring to light historical truths which the ruins would keep secret. We carry on the work of our forebears and continue our pursuit tirelessly, then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader, Taro, understands well that this is not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries, even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of man Taro is, but I, Dr. Callum, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be noteworthy, to be sure, but it is my name that I want to live on forever. 
not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and, if I might be a trifle immodest, landmarks. Callip Valley, Callip River, the Callip Hills, my dreams recognize no boundaries. Dr. Callip. I checked on an image site and as a tag, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is to say Zelda herself, not the game as a whole, has over 3,000 pieces of art already. I cannot say that I am shocked. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've ever researched, especially this one, the way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh, I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Uh, oh no, I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Uh, Is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Paya, chief of Kakariko Village. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Oh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Ah. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect, at least. But still, I would know you know, would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to, to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zone Eye Survey Team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Ah. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zone Eye civilization. He's even familiar with Zone Eye script. He is truly a talent, an incredibly talented individual. Okay. I like oh. the gizmo he's wearing. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Mm. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. <laughs> because there are so many of them out there. It's a natural cause for confusion. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm -hmm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. I did not, Aaron Lar. You again. Under Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. Uh. I would brave some crumbling architecture if it gave us more research material, but it's not worth disobeying the princess. What if she stripped my title? I worked my whole life for some recognition, and I won't give it up now. Uh, it's possible I did then, but I certainly don't remember. Which probably means I didn't learn about it. 
They must have a store here somewhere. General store, general store in armor shop. Okay, so that's somewhere back here. Probably that one. Ah, this one, actually. All right, we've been here before. I can't even come close to affording any of this. That's so expensive. All right, we're going to have to pass up any opportunities over here for now. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Apparently it's smack in the middle of her left butt cheek, as Impa says when Paya can't bring herself to tell Link even though she wants to. <laughs> That's cute. All right, where's Lookout Landing? That would be the big thing with the tower. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the Calamity, Zelda. I was going to steal the flower, but I think we'll leave that one alone. that Josha and Robbie oh what's up ah oh, what a pleasant morning oh it's you you know that pura pad of yours may seem perfect but it could be even more perfect I'll need to head back to the lab when Josha's got the depths investigation sorted out come on goggles are you even listening to me oh um yes sorry you were saying I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own. No kidding. That was an awfully huge area we were just in, and it was tiny on the map. So tiny. And we've only just barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to, happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, that should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Head of Depths Research. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. 
We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapad's camera to take a picture of it for Josha. Oh, I finally unlocked the camera. After, what, like 20 hours of gameplay? Because I ignored the main story for so long. Camera? You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Purapad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on! Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Bright bloom seed times ten. A seed that's often found in caves or wells. When struck, it'll take root and bloom, giving off faint light from a small flower. Oh, and take this too. Arrows times five. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout's Landing's southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Camera work in the depths. I actually didn't come here to get that, but that's cool. Now that I have a little bit of previous experience in the depths. So, sort of. Uh, but I did want to come and take a look at the store. Oh, I can actually get these. Trousers, Hillian tunic, Hillian hood. But do... Uh, do these actually protect you from harsh conditions at all, I wonder? Yep, that's fine. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Look at that. I was able to afford the whole set. Ah. Thank you. A place with lots of people. So this place was built recently, huh? It's got a good vibe and I figure it's safe since there are lots of people here. There are so many monsters all over these days, so I'm going to stay here and relax for a while. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you have a Korok seed? You do, you got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? I should probably get more bows. Uh, 
There you go. That's all of it. Because I'm giving him Korok seeds for his maracas on Stara, and he's giving me inventory space in my pouches in exchange. Okay, that's all we can do for now. Ah. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with work right now. Ah. Link! Oh, it's Carson! Bolson's assistant. Wow, what a relief. I was seriously worried about where have you been anyway? Sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. Oh. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable in Lookout Landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it'd help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. Now, the project would likely take me a while to complete. Oh. But once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Um, let's see. Where's the tower? Okay, we gotta go right down there. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Aha, uh -huh, we know that now. And then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I have quite a few, actually. Thankfully. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a life source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Hold, select material, hold to get ready. Okay. So I don't need to waste arrows every time. Ah. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. That I already know. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Okay, let's see. This actually seems more like a case for a bow shot. Oh, that's pretty easy. What are these little guys? Deep Firefly. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. 
Do they have dances like WoW does? They have a ton. Okay. Most are free from little quests in game and some are cash shop. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Man, look at that. That's Akala and Central Hyrule. That's so huge. That's such a small space. Let's go talk to this guy and see if he has anything to say about the dispelling of the gloom. And the fireflies, they seem to be gone too. Robbie told me to guide you once you arrived, but he rushed off in some haste. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so no difference there. Oh. I mean, sure, technically there's nothing stopping you from doing that, aside from shame. Okay, so we never talk to Ponic again. It's too long. It's very informative and helpful first time, but we don't need more than that. Hey, you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I should really have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going off to the glowing root I see shining west of here, so you'd better hurry up and get moving. The goggles, will they do something but not much? Oh no! Hey you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Ah, uh, yes, another route. I see it. Something about glowing root, I know. Oh. Well, that's horrifying. I probably don't want to use that. Oh. Ow. Oh. 
Ooh. There's so much for that thing. An average sword used largely by travelers. The blade is decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. Three minute warning, folks. That sounds like a good noise. I'm sure there's nothing terribly wrong. Oh. Yeah. Easy peasy. Oh, crap. No, go away. Oh, nice. Okay. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Oh, and just in time, too. It looks like I have to start that last break of the evening now. So I'm going to take a few minutes. If you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in a bit. Guys handle the fighting. I'll just be here looting. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Whoops. I kept expecting some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming actually. I'm getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. Ah, missed. Gotcha. Oh, you faked me out. Rude. Not yet, but I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay. Be careful with the landings. Noted. Oh damn it, Serana! You 
Freaking skeleton is making noises at me. I do kind of have in mind all the happenings before. Um. How are you not dead? Excuse me. You're one of ours. Never mind. Sorry about that. What in the world? This is why you gotta be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. Think you got him? Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. Whoops. <laughs> um, very sorry about that. We're going to hit something. <laughs> that was the best timing ever. <laughs> Back. Come on. Okay, I'm back. Oh good, it restores your lost hearts due to gloom. That is fantastic, and here's our guy. Uh, let me just eat something real quick. Some apples will do. Thank you. Now, I'm kind of tempted by that humble uh, sale. The only problem is I kind of wanted to get it on PS5 because I've been burned with PC performance in those games before. Sometimes even when you can play it, no problem. Streaming it is an issue. So I'm going to hold off. But man, it's like 40 something dollars Canadian for the complete package, which is like 180 bucks normally. Look at how bright that thing got. The light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. This statue. He's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. He looks an awful lot like the figure Josha showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. I hadn't forgot I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed given it's one of the Purapad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Purapad for a second, all right? Uh, no, not so far, Arinor. I'm looking forward to that one. We will take a break from uh, Zelda as soon as patches come down the line, and then we'll just play through to complete the game, because uh, I was really liking it. I want to play through it with the best experience possible for the remainder. Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. 
Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Capture images using the Pura Pad. You can then save them to the album. Ah. Boom. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I'll want to see how it looks. Open adventure log. You found Robbie inside the chasm down in the depths. He unlocked your camera and asked you to give it a try by taking a picture of a nearby statue. The statue appears to be very similar to the figure on the slate fragment that Josha is studying. Okay, so we need to use the left button. And statue with raised arm. Hey you, how'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Camera work in the depths. Okay, let's poke around just a little bit more. That looks like it might be another route over that way. I don't know what the heck all that is over there. That's an encampment. We don't want to go there. Nope. Oh, God. No. Go away. Oh, that was not what I had in mind at all. Off with you. This is my area now.
Nice. So that was a good one to get. That just made the entire area so much better. There we go. Okay, that was awesome. No, I kind of lost one of my weapons. That's a little unfortunate. I think one of them might have stolen it. Oh, I can actually get some pretty decent range on that. Hey, where'd they go? That's weird. Not quite so high. Oh, I'm out of power. I don't know if I really want to antagonize those guys, but let's find out. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Oh, that got him. Uh, it didn't do a whole lot, though. I think it might be best to save this for use as a tool in clearing obstacles. And only occasionally for bombarding unsuspecting opponents. Um... See, I think that's the original light route that I came down upon. Oh, I think I can sneak through here. Muddle bud. I would love to know if it's possible to clean up this red crap. Getting rid of it would be awesome. I mean, I would love for the game to tell me. I'm not looking for anybody else to explain that to me. If it was Mario Sunshine, you could, but it's not, so... Sadly. We have no assurance. Spear. A spear? Oh, it's not corroded. What the heck? So that's where they're hiding all the good stuff. Okay, so that one there is the one that we want.
I will take these too. There's more over here. Many, many, many. Although I'd be a lot more interested in the bomb flowers, honestly. Like that. Jessica, what's going on? Welcome on in. Zelda's treating me reasonably well. I actually haven't died too much today. And we've made a lot of good progress. We got back a little bit onto the main story. So we're looking generally west. I like how they've kind of subtly discouraged exploration to the west by putting these massive obstructions in your way that are not real obstructions. You can get away with going that way, but it's just enough that you're going to kind of naturally tend to go the other way. How are you doing, Jessica? I hope all is well with you. I seem to have lost sight of the brute for the most part. I probably want a different weapon. Oh, that's the root. Okay. like that sound. What the hell is that? Ah, crap. A route to the route is needed. 
A root root, yes. Okay. I'll drop that one and take a fresh one, though. <laughs> oh, I hadn't meant to do that, but all right. We'll go with that way. rude. I can't use that as a bridge. Not safely, at least. Well, it's not too bad. So we've got one there, and there's also another one out there. Although I'm not planning on staying down here for the entire rest of stream. We have to move on. I do. Hey, Ecto. How's it going? It's good to see you. Damn it, there's another light route just over there. Wow. Wait, where was that? What? Oh, that was way more south than it was west. That's annoying. <laughs> well, not really annoying, because now we've got a massive area uncovered and lit up, but even so. All right, well, uh, I think we need to return to the surface now, actually, so let's maybe go back that way. Had a few issues with my desktop PC. Turned out to be an issue with the network driver card. Software drivers caused your speed to drop. 
to less than half. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you got that taken care of. That sounds annoying. Oh, I'll do that in a moment, Aaron Lar. Massive compared to the area that we could see before. I mean, that's still pretty small, but it's a lot bigger than this. Ah, last location. Okay. All right. Where do we need to go? Hey, you! Show Josha the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. Hey. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is... A big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as my thanks for helping with the stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Zonite. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. Sakura Moon, how's it going? Welcome on in. Been a while since I've watched a stream. It's going very well. It's good to see you again. It has been quite a while, hasn't it? That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles. Swordsman. Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. We must get to that lab. Okay. No objective set. So I'm not sure that we can do the Dragon's Tears yet. Uh, we can actually test that, though. So right now with this outfit, my cold and heat tolerance are both three bars at either end of the scale. Let's check out our original outfit. Unchanged. Okay, so I didn't gain anything by getting that new outfit. At least not in terms of... Uh, not in terms of cold protection, so that's unfortunate. This game is so beautiful, I've really been enjoying seeing everyone playing it recently. Same, Sacre Moon. I love watching people play it, as long as I avoid the spoilery bits. It's really, really nice. Yeah, Sunday I will be live and doing like a huge minimum 12-hour stream again. Usually I only do one of those a month, but... Uh, I have an opportunity to do a bit more this time. Uh, let's let's use the tower. Minimum Sacramoon. Usually I end up going like 14 or so, maybe 15. So I'll be starting around noon my time and then going well into what I used to stream at. Any convenient trines? There's that tower over there. Let's try and see if we can get over to that one. Oh, there is a shrine, actually. 
Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Oh, this is one of the ones that's on my uh, ping list as well. Yamiyo Shrine. Combat training, throwing. Oh, great. Okay. Well, might as well take care of it. I could honestly learn to use throwing. Oh, and I could definitely use more. Hey, brood. I was looting. Oh, Jesus. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. One, hold to get ready. Two, hold select material. not that material. Well done. That's not so bad. Watch the enemy's movements carefully, then throw the material at them. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Well, I did immediately take off for further parts of the map, Aaron Lore, so there's probably a lot of tutorial shrines that I haven't done yet. <laughs> Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Plus I got more fire fruit and picked up a few arrows too. All in all, I have to call that good. Also, I keep forgetting to visit the shrines and get my extra stamina and hearts, which I probably could really use, especially if we're going down into the depths more. Yep, I got two of them waiting on me now. At this point, I could probably use a couple of hearts, actually.
Yep, very, very easy. And handy to know. Being able to throw stuff is pretty big. I keep wasting arrows down in the depths using, you know, arrows to get the light bloom further out. Which is not necessarily a waste per se, but being able to just toss them will be nice. Uh, what did I want? I wanted this. Okay, so there's a sh Oh. The Wetland Stable Shrine should be there. And then there's another one over that way. Oh, I like that they mark the device dispensers. One point one point two patched some glitches and is a separate cat now. What? Oh, thank you, Sketchy. Ugh. I appreciate it. Category? Oh, okay. Uh, that makes more sense, Aaronlar. My brain immediately went back to the earlier conversation when you were talking about cat girls. And that didn't make a whole lot of sense. I know there's got to be a shrine here somewhere. Or not a shrine, but you know what I mean. The uh, little prayer statue. Where did they hide it? Well, maybe I'm just flat out wrong. Okay, well, we can always go back to Kakariko Village. Speedrunners don't have time to say category. The standard Canadian way, Ultra, in Imperial. We are very consistent in our inconsistency. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will amplify your being. Item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. It appears you still possess lights of blessing. Oh, and uh, as for the other redemption sketchy, posture seems good, and... Ugh. I needed that neck stretch, so thank you. Alright. We're gonna head back to Lookout Landing, and I think it's time for me to go get ready to make pizza, so I'm gonna have to wrap up here. We're gonna go raid somebody, so we'll have to go see who we can find that we can give a raid to. I will be back tomorrow. I will be on around noon, and uh, to nobody's great surprise, I will be playing this again. So thank you all for being here. Maybe we'll see if we can find some more of those tutorial shrines. I suspect some of the ones nearby that I have marked, like this one by Wetland Stable.
is probably a good candidate for being a uh, tutorial shrine. We'll see how that goes. It was good to see you, Sacramoon. All right, let's see what we can find. Let me get my list of awesome folks up. I'll also be able to stream a little bit later tomorrow. Since I am making pizza, I have to wrap up a little early. Tomorrow, I have no such restriction, so I'll be able to go closer to around 6.30 or so. So let me see. Oh, A Burnt, a regular fixture in our community, is a streamer, apparently. I did not know about that. And he's playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Who else have we got? Fox Queen is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Hunter Wilde is playing Star Citizen. Been a while since we've had a chance to raid Hunter. Katie Peters Plays is playing something called Lost Words Beyond the Page, which I think I've heard of. I don't know a lot about it. Smash Lee is playing Diablo 4. That looks like it's about it for today. I'm actually surprised there aren't more people playing Diablo. I would have expected that to be a lot bigger. Tomorrow he's making chicken pesto soup. I'm not a big pesto fan. I mean, I'll eat it. It's not terrible, but I wouldn't voluntarily make stuff involving it. Thank you for being here, Ultra and everybody. I say go give a burnt a boost. I was kind of thinking that. I didn't even realize that uh, he streamed. So let me get his stream loaded up here. Oh, I think I recognize the area. He's on Dantooine. That's a fun area. So he's probably just recently become a Jedi. All right, we're going to go and uh, visit A Burnt to see how things are going for his playthrough. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I feel like Diablo isn't as big because of all the beta periods they had. That could be. But the people I know who are really into Diablo and are... Oh, actually, you know, it could also be... There are a lot of people who are avoiding because they don't want to give the publisher money. They don't want to give Activision their cash. Also, oh, is it still in EA? That's true. Okay, well, we're going to head over and check out Knights of the Old Republic with Aburnt. So, just make sure I'm spelling it right. Yep, that looks good. You had to have bought the Ultimate Collector Edition. Fair. Okay. Let's get back out of there, and I will get you guys the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use... Sh it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the sh emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe emotes from another streamer... Uh, possibly emotes from Twitch themselves. Feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Aburn's channel, see how things are going for him in his playthrough. I will catch you back here tomorrow afternoon. I still kind of want to say evening. Uh, I'll catch you back here tomorrow afternoon, and then I will see you over in Aburn's channel in just a few moments as well. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.